Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. As the Brendan Rodgers regime continues with a 3 0 demolishing of FC Gommel at Anfield, a 4 0 on aggregate goals from Fabio Barini, Steven Gerrard, and a left foot belter from Glenn Johnson as well. Uh, before I talk a little bit about the match, let's have some of Facebook comments. Uh, Dan Cooper says, Hopefully, this is going to make some people feel better under Brendo. Brilliant work with the ball. Glad to see intent in the lads. Gladder still to see the blade from Barini. Good times, you'll never walk alone yet. I think he means he means that. It's not a blade. It's just just his hand. <laughs> um, yeah, um Tom Pasco Williams responding to a, a, a rumour at the end. He said there, oh, and Aga never threw his shirt into the crowd. He handed it to a little girl on his way to the tunnel. Yeah, I'd heard someone, in fact, my show regular Mike Atkinson said that he'd see them throw it into the crowd. So, you know, if you know any more on that, please do let us know if you were at Anfield and you stayed to the bitter, bitter end. Anyway, um Shesh, <laughs> we won't be mentioning that one. Louise Carr says, Anfield hoaxed its first Daniel Agger loving. May there be many more. Yes, indeed, Louise, a fantastic sentiment. And uh, yeah, I think, I think we'll all agree on that. Um, despite the fact that I made some comments about Agger, want him to stay, just to clarify, want him to stay. Um, yes, um, anyway, Omar Elambi, uh, Elbambi sorry, says uh, it was like watching Brazil play. Yes, amazing. Uh, Adam Eklund says Suarez, superb as usual. Great to see Lucas back at Anfield. You can already see fragments of Brendan's philosophy. You'll never walk alone. Yes, yes indeed. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the game because um, for a start I was in the paddock so I could tell you all kinds of shit that went on down the left wing in the first half and all kinds of shit that went on in our right back position in the second. Past that, not so much. No, um, I, it was fine wasn't it? It was a very fine performance, it was great to see. As the last comment says, they're fragments of what Brendan Rodgers is trying to achieve. I think. I think the doom and gloom merchants were all prepared to start fucking swinging their nooses over the air, over the rafters after the first leg. And let's face it, the first leg was a fucking pile of shit. But no, that was that was much improved. And to be perfectly honest, much improved because we had a much improved first eleven. Now let's be perfectly let's be perfectly honest. Let's be perfectly clear on it. That's starting eleven. Look at it. Go and get go and look at the team sheet if you haven't got it. I'll tell you. Pepe Reina, Enrique Agascale Johnson, brilliant. As good a back five as we're gonna have, okay, you know, maybe some question marks over certain elements, but as far as back fives go, fine. Midfield three of Lucas, Shelby and Gerard, you know, maybe Shelby's the weak link in that in, in that midfield three. I think that's that's probably 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 true. Don't think he had a necessarily had a great game, but he's been very impressive in pre-season. Fine, no problem with that. And then a front three. Barini started on the left, Suarez started in the middle and down in, on the right. Um, Suarez and Barini switched around a lot, uh, which is great to see, a lot of fluidity up front. But I, I feel three, and you know, say what you want about Stuart Downing, but fuck off. Because, you know, it's dead go Stuart Downing's a load of shit. Stuart Downing's not a load of shit. Stuart Downing had a shit season. There's a massive difference. If we if Stuart Downing can wipe the slate clean and the people around Anfield can wipe the slate clean as well, and the people, the millions and millions watching at home can wipe the slate clean with Stuart Downing, he might have a decent season this year. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think he's he's necessarily first team week in, week out. He's not first name of the team sheet, quality fifty game a season. But if we can buy another quality player to play on the right hand side, what a great player to have in your squad. What a great player to be able to call upon. You know, maybe you play Man United, maybe you go on, but maybe it's maybe it's Dempsey, I don't know. Maybe it's someone maybe it's someone better. Who, who knows? If you get another player in the sort of mould of Suarez and Barini, perhaps with a little bit more pace, then that's a fantastic forward line. And Stuart Downs great to bring in against teams like, you know, your, your, your average level Premier League teams, you know, your Everton's. Uh, Aston Villa's the Swansea's of this world and that'll be fine for me um, yeah I mean great to see Lucas Slaver back 
as I say, John Joe Shelby perhaps didn't have the greatest game, but he was fine. Steven Gerrard, well impressed. I was bemoaning the fact that maybe he looked a little out of his depth uh, with the Rodgers system against Gobble, but then again, you know, this is the problem. It's still a pre-season game. You can't make too many judgments either way, but much improved. He definitely benefits from playing further up the pitch, so he doesn't have to do so much of the dirty work in the middle of the park. That said again, though, a couple of times I saw him get stuck into a few tasty challenges, and you're thinking, well, good on you, Steve. Good on to see that he actually, he's not, he's not drifted into being this sort of, um, you know, almost Zidane-like, talismanic character where, you know, I'll, I'll stand near the goal and you pass it to me and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll get involved. No, it was great to see him fighting for the cause because that's what every player on the pitch has got to do in this system. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about it at length, um, but I will now. Um, but no, this is the thing, you know, it's great to see, you need to see every single player working for the, uh, working to win the ball back, working for each other and, you know, fighting for the shirt as well. And I definitely saw that today. And yes, okay, it's fucking FC goal. Oh, you fucking miserable bastards out there. Cheer the fuck up. Very pleasant way to spend the Thursday evening, I can assure you. And 14 quid as well. Steal. Steal. So, um, yeah, brilliant. Um, we'll obviously be talking a bit more about this game in depth next week. But before then, we've got our two our subscriber show and uh, obviously as mentioned by Louise in the comments earlier uh, the Daniel Agger loving obviously Liverpool fans the world over are, are trying to make it known that Daniel Agger is the kind of player we want to see in a red shirt next season but Will he go? Will he won't? Will he won't? Will he won't go? Amazing. <laughs> will he stay or will he go? We've decided to talk about the pros and cons of Daniel Agger, whether it's a sale, whether it's keeping him or, or what have you. That's on the subscriber show. But it's true, you know, I, I, as I say, I can see it from both, from both angles, but everyone likes Daniel Agger. He's, he's such, we just, we recognise good, good footballers and he's the best footballing centre-half we've had since probably Sammy Hippier in his pomp. Yeah, it's funny though because again, you look back and you glamorise what he does, he comes out with the fence. Most of the time he runs it 50 yards and boots it over the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and we go, thanks for coming out of defence, well done Danny Agger. Good that shot. That is generally yes. what he does. That's a good he hasn't scored <laughs> for three years, four years doing it. I think that, uh, that, but he scored against he scored against West Ham, didn't he? Yeah, in two thousand and six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, amazing, great goal. Then. It was a great goal, and he's definitely going to do it again at some point. Definitely at some point. It's like Xabi Alonso's halfway line goals, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You know, he's got it in him. Just pray for it. I was like, Sam, well, Sam the best of hell could score from his own goal. We never saw it though, did we? But every time he claimed the ball and he went to kick it, we were secretly hoping Shoot! he was going to stick it over Nigel Martin's head or something <laughs> like you know. Definitely worth checking out. As I always say, it's free for a month. It's a piece of piss to cancel as well if you think it's a pile of shite. So definitely worth checking out. Our season uh, preview show comes out as well next week, so you want to be involved with that. Obviously, we're putting a few little bits and bobs out for those who can't be fucked to subscribe. Fair play to you, fair play to you, I understand that. But um, no, we'll be putting a few free bits out, but for subscribers, two hour show this week and hopefully something approaching that next week as well. So do check it out on the redmentv.com. As I say, free for a month via PayPal. Like it, keep it, hate it, fuck it off. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed your Thursday <laughs> as we march, storm into the playoffs of the Europa League. Good night.